if he takes a sip, am I gonna have to pump his stomach? <laughs> the new patch. People don't know they gotta peel it off to wake you up. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I got the most unique and special products that I could find on Amazon. Number one, spot my UV stickers. Listen to this sorcery that they claim. Here's what it is. Little stickers that you put on and they tell you when you need to reapply. I guess is the idea. Otherwise, you're just guessing. This sticker changes color to let you know reapply. How amazing is this? I'm saying this sticker is good year round. They were not cheap though. This little pack only has eight of them and I'm going, that's only a week's worth. We need to figure out we can get these in bulk because I think we need to put one on every day. The sticker will turn purple when you need to reapply and it is clear when you're good. So I got all kinds of stuff here, you guys. First, tinted moisturizer with 30 SPF. Then I got this one. Look, this is Walmart's brand, the knockoff. This is the most incredible sunscreen. Walmart went above and beyond because I don't think ever in my whole life I've seen an SPF this high. Guess before I tell you real quick. <laughs> this is 110 SPF. Tell me, what's the most you've seen in SPF? And then we have a little bit of just regular lotion. This is spray on lotion, like shit. You know why? Because I'm gonna try to trick it. I wanna see if it's just looking for lotion. Is there SPF ingredients that is actually, it's a sticker. It's not an iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Like how much technology is built into a sticker? That's what it looks like. Just a little envelope. You get eight. That's not a lot. Like we need a Sam's pack of these. It does say it has technology built into it. I have all kinds of questions though. We've gotten the box, the envelope -y thing. Like you could have sold me this car like this. Oh, look at that. If it's that dark purple, girl, you are not protected. Get out of the sun. If it's like a light, like an ombre kind of fading clear into a darker color, then it's wearing off. Be on alert. If it's totally clear, then you know you're good. Enjoy your life. I can't wait till the price goes down on these Dollar Tree. <laughs> Hook me up and I'm gonna buy $100 worth at a time. Cause I'm gonna put this on my forehead, on my arms and everywhere that is exposed to the sun when I go out. I'm gonna buy it because I love the idea. I don't love the price. I have another question. Um, my UV people, can I reuse it? If the sticker is still sticky, can I put it on tomorrow? Can I take it off before I get in the shower, wash the back so it gets the stick back? <laughs> you know, have you seen those, those sticky toys where you wash it and the, the sticky stuff comes back? That's what I need y'all to invent. Stays on while you swim, won't leave a tan line. I didn't even think about that. One spot. I guess they're calling this spot. I mean, y'all could have come up with a quirky name. Story time, okay? At Walmart. I saw this, <laughs> I thought it was deodorant. It's called Chub Rub. <laughs> and I just thought that is the most genius name. It's a fine line between witty, funny, quirky, and vulgar and too much. I once went to Walmart and they have like ball wipes <laughs> in the workout section for guys. <laughs> Remember that fine line? I said they jumped the fine line. No, I know you're trying to be corgi and witty, but you crawl. That line is very fine. Very fine. Chub rub, marketing team needs a raise. Spot. The spot lasts 12 consecutive hours or six sunscreen reapplications. There's the answers. Apply sunscreen over your spot. It will turn clear in sunlight. It only works outside. How am I gonna test it in here? It takes longer if it's cloudy. If spot remains purple, it means you need more sunscreen. I guess I'll have to step outside. It is hot as hell too. It's like a thousand degrees. Okay, see the little tab there? That's what you're gonna use. I'm gonna put it right there. You see it? Once we go outside, it'll go clear. There. It says to pull away the little triangle tab. So now we have the dot. So where's the technology that can taste the sunscreen? <laughs> I don't know, but listen, I'm trying to reverse engineer this shit. So let's try this stuff, lotion. Rub it in. And now let's try, <gasps> too much. Why am I putting so much before?
totally detects the SPF. <laughs> Look at that, it's completely clear. I'm really impressed. It was a bit cloudy outside, so I was nervous that it was not gonna activate because it did take a couple of seconds for it to go. But even though it was cloudy, it's still working. Are you not impressed? Look at that. I still think it's pricey because we're gonna need a lot of it. If there's two kids, two parents, that's four stickers. I'm excited about prices going down for these because I'm going to stock up on your face, right? We gotta protect this area, the whole body. But this on your face to make sure that your SPF is protecting you? Yes, girl. <gasps> Should I put some on now on my face? I wanna put this one on my face. We're gonna leave it right here on my face so that I can look at the monitor as we film the rest of this video and I can see if it's changing colors. Still hung up on the price, but I love them so far. Now let's try a little mist. That should not be taken off my sunscreen, right? Look at that water dripping from my hand. This has SPF 30. Oh my God, that's too damn much. What about right here? Like somewhere not right in the middle of your face, maybe. Let's go outside and activate. How's this one? Still clear. I'm impressed because it's making me think about it. I'm thinking like if I'm running to Walmart and I'm driving like that, and then this thing starts to turn purple, I'm gonna be like, oh, I need my sunscreen. I'm exposed. So, I don't know how I feel about it because look at this. It hasn't even been 15 minutes and I only put a little mist and then I poured water over it while I was outside. It started happening. Here are my thoughts. I love it because it kind of keeps it front of mind, right? Like you're gonna look at it and go, oh, I know what that means. It's a reminder. But I don't know that I feel like I trust this 100% that I'm protected, not protected, should reapply. If you know something better than this, cheaper than this, you have to let me know in the comments down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and save it for another day. <laughs> I'm gonna reapply it over here. I'm gonna get the little tab and put it back on. <laughs> Like it was never touched. <laughs> Perfectly placed back. Shit, I'm gonna put this one back. They said I could use it for 12 hours and six reapplications. So I'm gonna give the Spot My UV3 Vivian Heads. Number two, Lumify Eye Drops to make your eyes brighter, clear, popping. Have you seen the guy on TikTok? There are no coincidences. You know his eyes? <laughs> That's what you're gonna get when you use this. $20 for these eye drops, but you're gonna glow in the dark. Your eyes at least, your eyeballs. But look at this, 20 bucks. I swear they sell eye drops for like 97 cents. One drop works within minutes and will reduce the redness for eight hours. I'm just gonna put it in one eye. That way, as we film, you guys can see my eyes. If you've tried this and you love it, let me know in the comments down below, but I have a feeling I'm gonna love it. Now my eyes are gonna glow in every video. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, I can already see it working. When you put drops in your eyes, are you supposed to close your eyes for a couple minutes? That's what I always do to make sure the juices are flowing in all the right places. Is that what you do? I can already tell. I hope you can tell on camera. I know, somebody's saying, zoom in, Vivian, we can't see it. I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can, but I'm not putting the camera all up my nose. The little veins in my eye, they're gone. I feel like the dude on the TikTok. Close your eyes for a second, Vivian. Just close your eyes. <gasps> the veins are gone. Have you ever seen a brand new dry erase board? That white, that's what this looks like. <laughs> Is that a good example? Five Vivian heads so far. Number three. Fly punch because it sounds like fruit punch. Effective against fruit flies, safe near food. Is somebody gonna try to drink that? Because it looks like tea or something and the packaging is so cute and he's gonna take a sip. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> if he takes a sip, am I gonna have to pump his stomach? <laughs> that's my question. I always have questions, but that's my question. Okay, like that. This might work. I'm proud of you, congratulations. It looks like something in the kitchen. Y'all gotta make sure people know what this is. He's gonna put a little bit in my soup. <laughs> Not everybody's watching out what they're doing in the kitchen. They're just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. I could like that. Commercial grade power, non-staining formula. It looks like soap. Ooh, is this from TikTok? Soap with a little bit of vinegar, with a little bit of, I'm just assuming, I'm just speculating. Open the cap and place it around fruit flies and watch the cycle of life unfold. What does that mean? <laughs> Leave my face. What does that mean, gross? <laughs> Let me check my eyeball, because I don't know why I feel lighter on this side of my face. <gasps> Tell me you don't see it. 
Tell me this side of my face is not brighter, lighter, more alive. So far, so good. Back to this. Everybody has problems with fruit flies sometimes. It, don't lie, everybody does. If you have plants, if you open doors, if you come in and out of your house, if you have trash cans, if you have food, you at one point had fruit flies. So you might need this, so pay attention. It wasn't cheap either. This better not be Dawn soap with some vinegar. All you do is take this off. Based on the sniff, sometimes the nose is wrong, but I smelled vinegar and soap. If we don't catch anything by the time I'm done filming the video, follow me on Instagram and I will update you there in a couple days to see what I catch. Number four, the good patch. We're living in the damn future. We're living in 2052. Eye drops that make your eyes glow. The sticker for sunscreen, number two, and now you got a patch to put you to sleep. No more pills, no more gummies, NyQuil, Benadryl. Like people have all kinds of remedies for going to sleep. I am what you call a night owl. My normal sleep schedule is I fall asleep about 1.30 and I wake up about 3.30. It's a habit that I created for myself. So this should help. Here's a patch and they make these patches for everything. 10 milligrams of melatonin. Peel and place one patch on the inside of your wrist. Time to wake up. Simply peel off. <laughs> I'm asleep. How am I gonna peel this off to wake myself up? Am I gonna tell my lover, lover, I wanna wake up at 6 a.m. so I need you to wake up, peel this off so I can wake up. What if I wanna take a power nap? Can I reuse the rest of the 12 hours for later? You're only getting four patches. Just one, not two. That might be dangerous. Y'all gotta be careful. I'm only taking them out to show you, but I can't put it on now. I can't fall asleep during the video. I'm gonna try them on tonight and I will update you guys on Instagram. Boom, place it right there and then good night. In case something happens, y'all tell people what you're doing. Don't just lay down with a new patch and then people don't know they gotta peel it off to wake you up. I'll update you guys on Instagram. This is very interesting. Number five, sugar break. I have a sweet tooth. This is supposed to stop that. Curves sugar cravings by blocking the taste of sugar. Minty fresh breath. What? It's two in one. It will freshen your breath and block the sugar cravings. I can't wait to try this. The thing is, we're gonna have to get part-time jobs to afford all this stuff. This little thing right here was $12. Mm. And there's only 20 dissolvable. Is one little strip gonna last me all day? Place strip on your tongue and wait for it to dissolve. Take one whenever you have a craving. So if I have a craving every hour, sugar is so bad for us. Cavities, the sugar. Aging, did you know that when you eat a lot of sugar, it ages you? If this works, I'm gonna say, screw it, sell the car. Until you can get that sugar addiction under control, I'm gonna say, sell the car and just invest in this, maybe. I need to invest in this company so I can get a little bit of that money that I'm sending them. Now it looks like a little pack of like that Listerine. Do you remember those? Say, so just throw it in your purse. Ta -da. Hey, they agree. They look like the little sushi. What the? F what is that? Look at it. Maybe I can smell. What is that? Y'all need to tell me what's in here. Wait, the instructions are different over here. Dissolve one strip on top of your tongue after every meal. And when a craving strikes, let me tell you after every meal. <laughs> is that seaweed? <laughs> It's gonna work because you're gonna throw up. I hate seaweed. I hate seafood, per it. It's gone. So it's been a few minutes since I let it dissolve just to give it a chance to get into my system. Hell, I don't know. It's not seaweed that I taste. It tastes like that spirulina. Is that how you say it? The spirulina, something like that? That's what it tastes like. Let's see. If it works, screw it. I guess I like seaweed. <gasps> no. <gasps> Die Dr. Pepper is going to come after y'all because you're going to ruin their business. It tastes like carbonated whatever the hell's in lingering in my mouth. I don't taste Die Dr. Pepper and I'm going to cry because this is my guilty pleasure. It's a what the hell? I'm kind of like trying to swish it around to see if there's a little piece of my tongue that didn't get some of that. Oh no, even the roof of my mouth tastes like something gross. Ugh. Like that, you're a gag. It's not a good taste. You're not gonna eat, you're gonna lose weight too. Oh my God. If this can last me a couple of hours a day, I might just need two a day and that's gonna work. Look at this. 
<laughs> I have enough of that. I got a problem. I want to know how long it lasts. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to have to update you guys as I go. Ready? You can't. It tastes like peanut butter with no sugar. What the actual fuck is this? I don't know what kind of hocus pocus this is in my mouth. Even the texture is different. My tongue has never been altered like this ever in its life. And I've never not enjoyed a Diet Dr. Pepper ever. And I keep taking sips of it to see if it wears off. So I'm going to give the sugar break taste bud number four Vivian head. Four because I don't know how long it's going to last and it's a little pricey, but four. Girl, that's still good. Number six. Liquid IV. I've seen a lot of people talking about this. I saw some girl that I follow. She bragged about this for like months. I know a lot of people are getting sponsored. I am not sponsored. So I'm going to tell you the truth. It's a hydrating beverage thingy that you add to your water and it's supposed to, let me tell you what the box says. One little stick or little envelope equals to three bottles of water. If you've had this, let me know in the comments down below. It utilizes cellular transport technology. So that means that I don't have to drink as much water per day, huh? I only have to add this and then I can skip out on a couple of bottles of water. Boom. 10 sticks. A little pricey. So one of these and one of these equals three bottles of water. I want to believe them because, oh, this is going to help me a lot. Passion fruit is always what I'm going to pick. Ooh. Is this like an emergency, one of those drinks? How many of these do I need to drink per day though? Oh, that's good. Oh. If you get headaches a lot, it might be because you're dehydrated. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I just found that out. But I'm getting a bit of an aftertaste. I am. I taste salt. I don't know if it's because it's warm room temperature water. This leading science depends on non-MGO sugar and salt strictly for function, not taste. I can taste the salt, but just on the first impression, I'm going to give this guy three Vivian heads. Number seven. Dawn Power Wash Dish Soap. This is the most viral thing I've seen in the last few months. People are washing their cars with this stuff. And I thought, well, hell, we've never been able to take care of this guy. If you know, you know. Spray, wipe, rinse. No scrubbing, no nothing. All the stories, all the good times that we shared. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, that comes out real nice. Haven't touched it, just let it sit. It has a really nice green apple scent. Ready? Okay, it's not wiping off. 10 minutes, we'll come back. I think it might work. I'm just gonna leave it right here on the table. I'm gonna run outside, put this on my car, and then we'll check back. Okay, car tires, yes, all day. Did you see the before and after? I only left it on there three minutes maybe because it's hot as hell outside. But no scrubbing, no nothing. Hose it down, you're done. Ready? One, two, three, go. It's a no, but a yes. Because if I had a little sponge, this would be brand new. I can do this with my nail and grease is coming right up. So I'm going to give the Power Wash Dawn Soap. Four Vivian heads. 